Hey, welcome back to the shop. I hope everyone's doing well out there. I have to apologize ahead of time for this background noise from this fan behind me. It's only 9 a.m. and it's already 98 degrees out here and you don't need to see me sweating any more than I already am. I have two things for you today. This rotary welding positioner from MC Engineering and this Sano Chuck from Banggood. Let's first talk about the rotary positioner. My good friend Craig Campbell of MC Engineering built two of these prototype rotary welding positioners. He sent one to me and said, Ray, let me know what you think of this thing, use it, uh, enjoy it. So first let me show you around the components that makes up this. This is the control module and speed controller on off switch. Got a power supply with a 120 volt cord. We got a foot pedal to turn it on and off, basically. Um, and it's not a rheostat, it's just on or off. And then we have the rotary positioner itself. Uh, this thing's pretty trick. It works off of a um, small stepper motor, like you'd see in a CNC machine. It has a gearbox. It will go easily to 90 degrees actually a little past it'll go a little past 90 degrees and let me show you something really trick it's got a shielding gas port here so you can back purge through the top of the table into your tubing or whatever you're uh, welding and that is really neat I haven't tried this yet but uh, hopefully one of these days I'll have the opportunity to back purge something so anyway it's a uh, it's a pretty heavy duty little positioner, man. It's actually really neat. The really nice thing about this is that it goes from zero to 138 revolutions per minute. I believe, don't quote me on the top speed, but I believe that's what it is. So anyway, uh, let's get this thing hooked up and I'll show you how it runs. This is coming from our stepper motor, and this is our foot pedal. And then our power supply. Check out this beefy ground cord. I don't know what ought it is, but it's uh, pretty beefy. And this is your ground for your, your table. Here's our um, on-off pedal right here. And we got our controller, uh, our power switch which lights up the display. And then the green and blue buttons. This is your forward speeds for all the way from zero all the way up to like 138, I believe. And this is your reverse. So this will go negative and turn in reverse the same speeds. So let's go ahead and get this set up. Okay, this, uh, this is only 10. So check out how slow this thing goes. You can hear the stepper motor. And I'll do this real time. One of the biggest complaints with these rotary positioners is they don't go slow enough. And we can also on the fly Now isn't that neat? So let's take it all the way up. Let's say a hundred this time. We're fifty. Seventy. Eighty. Ninety. 101, 101. Again on the fly. 50, 50. If you hold both buttons together, bam, goes to zero. 
and then we'll go in reverse. All right, there's 30. Okay, so basically this thing is awesome. It's very well built, it's heavy duty. I've already hooked it up to a welding clamp. It, it welds nice. So I thought I would add a chuck to it. So instead of spending a whole bunch of money on an expensive like buck chuck or something, I reached out to the folks at Banggood. And they sent me this Sano three jaw self-centering chuck. Uh, this is model K11. 125 so it's 125 millimeter chuck just under five inches the reason I didn't get a six inch chuck which is the size of this table is I didn't I didn't want to have a um, bolting up issue because the slots only come out so far so let's get this opened up and mount it to the uh, rotary welding positioner so you're asking why are you putting a Chinese chuck on a very nice USA made rotary welding positioner well guys unless you want to give me a, a five six hundred dollar buck chuck for this I'd be happy to take it so instead Banggood sent this this thing retails for under a hundred dollars we have another set of jaws the t-handle and the mounting bolts and it's a it is a plain back chuck so here it is Get it out of here. Okay. There you have it. K11-125, 3000 max RPM, Sano, plain back chuck. Came with the mounting screws for the plane back. So let's get this mounted up and give her a test burn. I didn't center this up, I just popped it on here. Thinking back, I could have really used this for the can crusher build. It would have been perfect for welding up those end plates. Okay, so let's get something chucked up in here and uh, give it a little demonstration. Man, to be honest, guys, when you're TIGging, you got your TIG foot pedal, and then you have this pedal. I don't know if I'm going to have enough coordination to manage all that. So it's going to take me some practice before I really show it off, but we got a, let's just say we have a piece of material chucked up in here. You got your welder here. You can get it at a good angle. Bam. I'll use this for demonstration purposes. Probably take a little bit of playing to get your speeds. Get them, get your speeds right. But I think once you have it mastered, I mean, this is going to be a really handle, a really handy tool in the shop. To be honest with you guys, before I make a fool of myself, I want to practice welding with this thing before I do any video of it. But here's an example of a piece of uh, four inch tubing. Set our speed to about 25.
Man, that's that's plenty slow. I mean, if you want to see, uh, there's one. <laughs> Look at that. You can't even see it move. It's it's ticking. Man, that's plenty slow. What a nice piece of equipment. Okay, guys, um, that's gonna about wrap it up for this one. If you want all the specs on the Sano Chuck from Banggood, um, again, it's a K11-125. It retails for under uh, $100. Um, I'm not sure if Craig is gonna be manufacturing these. I'm sure we have to work out some bugs, if there are any. I haven't found any at this point. Um, I would like to get some welding done on it before I do a, a more comprehensive video, but I wanted to show it off. It's a really nice piece of equipment. Craig, thank you very much. This thing is going to come in handy for many projects to come. Uh, well built, uh, well thought out, uh, heavy duty. I mean, you, you see it, everything's legit here. I hope you all enjoyed today's short video. So until next time, see ya.